I was running just a little bit uh, behind this morning, so good morning guys. The Buffy's with me. I have not recorded anything else. This is the first thing I'm recording today. Buffy's gonna go see Piper. They go see Piper? Maybe I should uh, film Piper so that you guys know who I'm talking about. Cause I'm not talking about, uh, oh, I knew I was gonna forget it. Um, oh, the witches, charmed. That's it, I remembered it, yes. Awesome, maybe my memory's not as bad as I, well, yes, yes it is. A little overcast this morning, probably supposed to burn off. Uh, Phoenix and I are gonna be going to my parents' house today and uh, having some fun uh, over there. See, is this a law where you guys are at that you either have to slow down or get over for emergency vehicles on the right shoulder of the road? Well, it is here. I don't know what they're going to do if you don't, you know, are they going to like stop what they're doing and pull you over if you don't, uh, don't move over? I don't know. I don't know what they do in that case. But anyway, it's for the safety of the people. You try having a job where, where like death machines are traveling at 60 to 70 miles an hour past you, like just feet or inches. It's scary. <laughs> Squirrel! And then, just like that, we're headed home. That was a quick trip, wasn't it? And once again, uh, here in about a month, all this will be nice and golden brown and red and brown and black and yellow and stuff. We had an awesome visit today with my parents, and again, I didn't film anything, really, because we just enjoyed the company. It was just awesome. Love my parents, and it's, it's always like going home, which is so cool. I love that feeling. So, anyway, we're off to get Buffy, and then I think, I think, because what, the vlog at this point is like, what, 30 seconds, maybe a minute, unless I rambled on about something. Um, so, I think that will probably make this vlog uh, the... Uh, Am I doing Halloween or not? Because, and this is gonna hold your interest, because I had a possible uh, pro opportunity today. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Right now, we're getting the dog. The dog, the dog. We're getting the dog. The, 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 we're getting the dirty dog. Hi. Hi. Did you help with the haunt today? I see you got stuff done today. Oh yeah. Nice. You ready to go? Go for a ride? Go for a ride? I have to film your hunt being built because I don't have one. Behind the plastic. That will be coming down. Oh my gosh, it smells so wonderful. Black plastic and plywood. Oh my gosh. Wow, you guys got a crap ton done today. Wow. You know something too. Um, wow. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you got, dude, you were like, dude. Oh my gosh. This is all. Holy crap. Just in progress. Wow. That's awesome. That is so awesome. I'm very jealous right now and, and a little depressed. <laughs> Dude, I love the texture on the walls though. So this is just styrofoam and you, what'd you use for it? Monster mud. Monster with, mud and with, um, with sand mixed in it. Nice. Very cool. And then sprayed it on. A lot easier than rolling it or brushing oh. it. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out a place that I could 
sit down and do this or talk to you guys for a minute. But then it started getting so late, I've just got through editing the vlog and it's like, you know something, I'm just gonna do it right here. Because also, I'm not wearing pants, so I have to make sure that there's like no reflections anywhere. Okay, so, um, let's talk haunt. Let's talk about Halloween Hellmouth. Let's talk about uh, the home haunt that was. Um, First of all, and many of you guys already know what I'm gonna say is that, no, we're not doing the haunt this year. Um, trial for my son is on the 22nd of this month um, for custody. Um, we're still about $10,000 away from retaining the lawyer. So take that as you will. Um, so a lot of stressful things coming up right now. Um, also, uh, the business. I'm like barely making the bills like right now and summer for automotive summer is usually the busiest time of the year so I'm still needing to buckle down and get stuff done uh, for the job to maintain the house and the bills and stuff like that um, so there's just no time even if there were money there there's no time to do the haunt this year now I talked to you a little uh, while ago about the pro opportunity now on the so stinks okay a professional haunted house they don't open on the 31st of October so they're gonna be opening up they're probably gonna I haven't looked at haunted house schedules but they're probably gonna be doing their soft opening um, probably on Friday the 30th I would imagine of September that's in like where are we? One, two. That's like three. Three weeks. So to build a whole haunt, a pro haunt, in three weeks? No. <laughs> Not going to happen. And that so sucks. That so sucks because we've got an opportunity. It's there. We just, we, we can even grab it. We can grab it. But we can't. We have to do the responsible, mature thing. And we have to, we have to pass. So. That kills me. That really freaking kills me. Um, so yeah, so there it is. So no more questions about, hey, Troy, you're doing a haunt this year? Because I'm not. I'm not, and I can't. However, um, you know, I, I do have other things. So there's going to be uh, a couple of haunt tours we're going to go on. We're going to be going to, hopefully, haunted houses. Um, I still have, like, the Spirit Halloween vlog to do. And I'm still going to do as much Halloween this year as I can. Kind of like I did last year, but hopefully a little bit more. At least the same amount as I did last year. So I hope you guys still follow along and join. And, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, this this channel hasn't um, exactly gone the way that I've wanted it to. Um, obviously, when I first started, I wanted everything to be all Halloween, all the time, every day. But, you know, life happens. Life happens. And it's actually... Um, progressed into more of just a documentation of my life and you know with the ups and the downs the good and the bad is there a spider in my ear wow I'm trying to be serious and I feel like a freaking spider in my ear um, you know with the good and the bad it's it's it, it, it's all learning it, it's all learning um, you know, I've got a lot of people in my personal life that say, dude, I don't know how you freaking do it because obviously I don't tell you guys everything that's going on. Although the other person continues to uh, slander on social media, I can say that because it's been happening. And if you're going to put it out there, then, <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about it. So that's something that will also be dealt with um, too. Um, so it's just, there's just so many things, so, so many things. Um, that you guys are only seeing the surface surface of right now. And, you know, I, I don't share a lot of them because, well, because I am the better person and I am not going to drag somebody else through the, the mud that has no, nothing, nothing out there has any bearing. The, the, what am I trying to say? My son is the one thing that matters. And in, like getting other people to join in and letting other people know about everything that's going on in the courts and, and whatnot, that's not, there. there's no purpose to it. There's no purpose. I don't understand it because it's not, I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't understand the mentality of some people's thinking. That's all I can say. So I know this is, this is kind of turned from, hey Troy, you're having a haunt to a uh, more personal thing. So, I mean, I'll throw it out there, guys. I will throw it out there. If you have helped, um, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. 
Um, but the GoFundMe is still down in the link. Um, and then also um, Patreon. Uh, we're still I, we're still going to be giving away one of the USB uh, laser uh, scare pins um, uh, at the end of beginning of next month. So who, if you guys want to go to Patreon, and this is because uh, Todd, uh, Todd, the winner of the 14-day uh, vlogging contest, gave up his pen because he already had one. Um, so he is, uh, his pen is available on Patreon, and that's what he wanted to do. So I, I appreciate that. I don't know. I don't know what else to say right now. I mean, it, it just it really sucks about Halloween, but you know, like I said. It's the story of everybody's life, time and money. And when there's none of either, eh, you gotta be an adult about things. You gotta draw the line. And I'm totally rambling. So, with no further ado, um, it's time for COC. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's ramble some more, shall we? And I haven't been keeping up on comments today because um, I've been with my sons, so... Uh, let's start out. Uh, first comment of the night, Jolson, I still win. Wait, I see a big black truck. It can't be. It is. Uh, yeah, I actually uh, saw Jolson and Ram and his wife Sue uh, yesterday on the way back from uh, dropping Jim off after I got Buffy. Um, it was just I had to get back to the house because I had stuff I had to get done. So, no, that was awesome. Jamie Shea, first to like. Yay. Thank you. That's so awesome. I love seeing that. Oh, yes, and I did ask you guys yesterday here. I also posted it on the Hellion Facebook page, but I asked you guys to uh, give me your stories of where you were at when uh, September 11th, uh, 2001 happened to the World Trade Centers and Pentagon, etc. So I appreciate you guys for, for di divulging that, giving me your stories, because this is something that I realize is that when the attacks of 9-11 happened 15 years ago, that's, wow, that's crazy to think it's that long. Um, I remember right after it happened, a massive feeling of everybody putting away their differences. White, black, brown, gay, lesbian, um, whoever, whatever, just about everybody put away their freaking differences for a while and became Americans. And that was one of the most powerful things that I've ever seen before. And it sucks that it took something like that to make that happen. And then it's the sad thing about it is 15 years later, look where we're at. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just crazy. I just wish that people would just, I don't know, treat each other like they should be treated. Um, but, in reading everybody's comments, it brought that feeling back to me. It made me remember it, and that was a great memory. Out of tragedy, um, there there was that good memory. So thank you guys for giving me your stories. The Energized, it's understandable that you can't show Phoenix on the vlogs at the moment, but it's a pity that you can't at least show his photo on the badge. It would be nice to see how much he's grown. Yeah, um, he has grown quite a lot. Quite a lot. Obviously, it's been a year. The Anonymous Haunter, this is kind of uh, from yesterday. I didn't mean anything bad in yesterday's comment. It was just uh, what I was told. Um, and then you go in and you talk a little bit about, um, you know, be careful when you're dealing with a partnership in a haunt. And yeah, that, that rings true anywhere. A haunt or not, anytime you get into a partnership with somebody else, you better, and, and that's the hard thing, you better damn well know who you're getting into a partnership with. I've got some friends, some very good friends of mine that I would love to get into a partnership with for a business venture. But then again, do you really want to get into a business venture with friends? Because if it goes bad, you want to retain those friends. So it's like a total catch-22. So I do understand what you're saying. Dustin Blanks, is it too early to start decorating? I don't think I can hold out much longer. No, go for it. Start decorating. Do it. Bob Ross. Whoa, easy on the rotten eggs there. I was just messing with you yesterday about doing the haunt. Jeesh. I wish, or I watch you every day. I know the score. I know you do. And I was just giving you a hard time. So, nah, 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 nah. So, I'm going to read the last comment of the night first and the second to the last comment second. French Avenue Fear. It's crazy how you remember major moments in history and where and what you were doing. Um, yeah. And you say for the, you talk about the Challenger and then, of course, 9 11. And yeah, for the Challenger, I was, I got on the school bus that morning and I realized that the radio was louder than it usually was and I went to the back of the bus because that's where I go is the back of the bus because I was one of the cool kids 
And um, uh, a couple of kids told me, it's like, yeah, the space shuttle blew up. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. What are you, whatever. What are you guys talking about? And I can't remember what grade I was in. But yeah, it was like um, second, third, fourth grade, somewhere in there. And yeah, when we got to school, we went to the library and because that's where they had uh, one of the TVs and, and we watched it. And I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll never forget that. Just walking onto the bus and just feeling that something wasn't right. Didn't know what it was. And anyway, uh, last comment on the night, Darth Anger. Looks like your train row was 13. Nice. Yes, and I did not even realize that until I watched the footage, the GoPro footage that I took of the train, you know, going backwards. So I was filming behind me and I didn't even realize it. And I'm, I saw that. I'm like, no way, because Phoenix picked that row. That's the one that he went to. So that was kind of, that was cool. All right, guys, um, thank you for watching. Happy haunting. Sorry about the sad news today. Um, you know, we'll try to pick up the haunt next year and we'll see what happens. Uh, who was it? Oh, it was French Avenue Fear that also said, you always have to cherish the present because tomorrow is not a given. And we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We can plan for tomorrow but plans fall through so you never know what's going to happen one day at a time that's all that we can do um, but be optimistic for the future and also make plans for the future and dream for the future because what's life without dreams right so happy haunting see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching buffy says good night too speak good girl say happy haunting <laughs> um your lips moved, but no words came out, dog. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh no, my you God, my game. Sink this shit. <laughs> You're not in Kansas anymore. Lieutenant Dan, he got mad. <laughs>